Hey good people, welcome back to another video. I'm Taquana, also known as Q, and today is q -timber 1st. My birthday is September 22nd, and in honor of that, I wanted to just show you all some flashback photos of me. I'm going as far back as 2008. I might have some 2007 pics up there, but your girl's been a dresser her whole life. <laughs> so I just wanted to share this with you. So if you're interested in seeing what I used to look like compared to what I look like now, keep watching. First photo we're gonna start with is when I was about 19 or 20. I used to wear my hair really short and this is the era when we were wearing spiked hair. So I had pump it up in my hair. I had the tips frosted with a little bit of, well, you can see here, with a little bit of copper in it. And I had my nose ring in and I, yeah, I had braces at the time. I had my braces and then I had that choker and them diamond earrings. Girl, you couldn't tell me nothing. This, this isn't a picture for fashion, but I wanted y'all to see my hair and see how spiked up I had it like in the little mohawk. Okay, this next picture is a hotter bodysuit from Marciano. I guess by Marciano. I used to think I was rich when I went in there because that top was probably $150 and I was probably 20 or 21. Yeah, well, I had a drink, so I probably was 21 in this uh, picture. Then I had the shorts. I think those shorts are from guests, like the regular guest store or R&B. It was like a birthday outfit. I think this is around my birthday. It says it's from 2008. And yeah, I can't tell you what I had on my feet, but I think I was wearing that big, you see that big bag that's on that chair right there? That's the bag I wore with it. Girl, where did you go with that bag? I think this was the era where we would wear, like whatever bag I had, because I mean, I had a couple dollars, but it wasn't like no money for real. Like it's like, you get your money, you spend it all on clothes. So that's the era that I was in, but I ain't have like a clutch purse to wear out. I think we were wearing our, whatever bag we got, we wearing it. Um, the hair is a quick weave with a bang. I had recently got my braces off and the teeth are teeth in, like that smile is so good. But yes, this is, I don't know what I was wearing on my feet, but my outfit does so on that bodysuit, the whole back out. Okay, next we have this dress. I think this dress is from Art and B. I don't know if y'all remember Art and B, if y'all had that in y'all uh, malls, but it was kind of the equivalent to like a dressy or BB. Like if you, you was a dresser if you went in this store. Like BB, it was BB, Art and B. Um, I used to go to BCBG. Um, where else did we shop? Like for the, like when you go in these stores, you know you're going to find something. So yeah, I'm at the club in this dress. <laughs> I ain't care. So this was a halter like swing dress. I had my little wood um, bracelet on, and then I had this clutch purse. You can't see it's can't it's not in the picture, but I had this clutch purse, and it had like a the wooden clasp to it, but the uh, bottom was fabric. I think y'all know what I'm talking about. If I can find one, I'll click. I'll put it up. But yep, hair short, no makeup. Probably some, only some eyeliner, and uh, yeah, that's it. I thought I was so cute and then my same cute tattoo. I probably had my cute tattoo since, probably since I was 20. I had it for a really long time, but that's, okay, and I rate this look. This was one of my favorite dresses. I'm giving this a nine. <laughs> I used to wear the him inside of that dress. Girl. It's not the outfit, it's the smiles. <laughs> Open. Your eyes, young lady. I think top model used to, we used to try to smile so bad because Tyra Banks told us we need to be smiling without using our mouth. So this was my second apartment by myself, but I had a minor setback for a major comeback. So it was my first downtown apartment. So it was a one bedroom and I had just moved in. I didn't have a bed yet. And I was on my way to France because I was dating somebody that played overseas. So I was getting my outfits together and then when I get my outfit together, I used to take a picture. <laughs> Looking for these pictures, I also found my high school, what is it called? Planner. And I used to, girl, I'm crazy. I used to write down every outfit. 
I ain't repeat. And you, y'all not gonna call me repeat. But anyway, back to the, uh, so that same big bag is the bag that I wore to the club with the, uh, yellow top, with the yellow floral top. That's that same bag. Girl, why do you have that one in the club? But this dress came from, I want to say this store called Metro Parks. It was like, I was just starting to get a couple dollars and like buying $40 t-shirts back then was a lot of money. $40, uh, so this dress was probably like $65, but it, I'm in my um, boho era. And I really used to watch girlfriends a lot. And so they used to work, like wear a lot of free people and things like that. So it was kind of like inspo, but not. And so I had my short hair, I'm doing earrings. I'm doing necklace, I'm doing bracelets okay <laughs> i'm doing whatever accessories i could put on and then whatever this is the necklace is doing i don't know but yeah i thought i was cute we're gonna get this about a six because it ain't it why do you why did i put that bag on with it should this picture says um february 13 2009 so guess where i'm at guess where i wore this long dress to all star weekend. <laughs> All star weekend. Why do you have that matronly dress on? The dress needs to come up at least five inches and let the thighs out. Why do I have my thighs covered like that? But I think that dress came from like uh, BB or Art and B again. And I just thought, like, no, nah, this dress is cute. Like, that's when I used to like wear dresses suck it in in the video. I don't really too much like to wear tight dresses anymore. But this one doesn't seem that tight. I had on these blue shoes from Aldo. They was patent leather with a little strap around the ankle. That blue clutch. Blue shadow. <laughs> and I might have just started wearing powder, but I thought I was cute. I don't know what that necklace is. Girl, this looks like I'm going to a wedding. No, I was at an all-star weekend party. They probably like, uh-uh, why is she going to church? But yeah, I don't know what, I know I had on the, um, oh, I know what, I had bought a Tiffany's, I think it's called the Venetian necklace, and then I had the bracelet. And once you buy something from Tiffany's at that age, in 2009, I was 23 turning 24, and where I'm from, I was, I was doing it. Because this picture is from February 15th, 2009, and this is like more streetwear, like a daytime look. I thought that bag, that red bag, I, when I'm looking at these pictures, it's like, where are my things? Because I need to, like, if I had that bag today, I would be so happy. But I had this red, I think that bag is from Diesel. I had on, I think that gray jacket is from Forever 21. The uh, jeans were Mech jeans, M-E-K. We used to call it Mech. I, I never really knew the pronunciation of it, but we used to call them Mech jeans. And those jeans were about $100. A hundred, buying $100 jeans at 23 is insane to me. And then I just had on some clogs. I've always been a clog girl just because I'm short and I really like how it looks when you wear the boot cut with the clog and it's just look cute to me. But I get this look of probably like a seven, it's average because it's not really like doing nothing. But yeah, I was out in the streets of Phoenix at All-Star Weekend. So the next photo, I was in my hairstylist era. <laughs> I had just become like, you know, like people started coming to me. I'm building my clientele and I'm like, way, you know, getting to it. And we have a local magazine and I think it was like a Foxy 7 or a Foxy 5 or something. And I was chosen to be one of the Foxy 5. Why does jacket look like it's plastic? I used to love that little leather jacket though. But I had on pink jeans. These like, I don't know if those shoes are from Steve Matten or if it's from Alda. And then I had on, oh, my Obama um, shirt. If I pop, it was like one of those like Andy Warhol, but it was all Obama. Those earrings are crazy. I absolutely hate the ridges in them. And, but my hair cute, my nails aren't done. I probably just put on that bracelet just cause I ain't had nothing on my arms, but I am gonna roll those sleeves up of the uh, jacket. But this is like cute to me. I, just, I thought I was so cute cause it's just going in the magazine, but I, I love a streetwear look. We did our photo shoot at the train track, so. I thought that was raw. <laughs> okay, this next, I was
was dressing like a grown-up. I can't believe I was wearing these types of dresses at this age. So this is June 3rd, 2009. And I have on this dress. I think this is like a Guess by Marciano dress. It's either Guess or either Guess by Marciano or an Art and B dress or a BCBG. I know this is not BCBG. So the dress was so cute. Back out halter. Uh, chiffon. I don't even know what that is. It's like satin. It ain't silk. Bracelets. Tons of bracelets on the left arm. Heavy swoop. <laughs> big earrings. I used to always wear big earrings. So my left ear is kind of like a little bit split. It ain't the worst. That's why I wear those um, like little stickers to go on the back of my ear. So I'll link them down below if y'all don't know what I'm talking about. And the shoes I have on have like tons of jewels on them. And I think that I got those from Gabriel Brothers because I had a couple dollars, but it was kind of like a really a high low mix. Like the high wasn't that high, wasn't designer, but it was expensive for me at the time. And then the low was the $7 shoes I probably got from Gabriel Brothers that once you freak it up and put your outfit on, how would they know? So this look, I used to love this dress too. So this look, I'm gonna give a seven to. All right, I always, I keep me a bump on my face. So this next look is not a fashion look, but I had to show y'all how I used to put this shadow on. Girl, why do you have on blue and purple shadow like that with nothing else on your face, nothing, no lashes, no nothing? The bob was bobbing though. This was cute. I think this was around, yep. Oh, it says it's my birthday. This is my actual birthday, September 22nd, 2009. Girl, I had to show y'all that eye makeup. And I think I keep wearing this eye makeup, like this combo. I might have watched the video <laughs> or saw somebody with it on and I'm going to keep doing it. Girl. So this next photo is that same dress when I was packing to go to overseas. So I might have not went in February. I knew I, it just says November 8th, 2009, and I remember going in November. So um, yeah, put it on. I, I really like this outfit. It's, I'm going to give it a nine. But this is when I first bought my first Louis bag, my first Speedy bag at 24. I thought I was doing the doggone thing. Pay for it cash, didn't need no credit cards or anything, but yeah, so obviously once I buy my first bag, it's my everyday bag, period. I'm going to wear with everything if it matches or not. That's just what my lifestyle was. So I had on this leather jacket. I think that jacket is from, and I think it might be from Forever 21. It wasn't like no fancy smancy jacket. But the boots, I think I got the boots at DSW and it kind of matched the jacket perfectly. And then I just put some jeans on and then I had on my um, speedy bag. But the look over your, just look over your shoulder, honey, was my favorite pose. <laughs> I love looking under my over my shoulder because I used to think my booty was so big. And it was, like, it really ain't that big. But here's another one of me just looking over my shoulder in the streets of Brett's friends and I just was cute so I remember let me I got a little short story so I remember going and then it was another guy that had his girl there and when I came out because I'm a dresser I used to like be cute and dressed homegirl gonna say I remember I used to wear all that and get dressed every day um uh, when when I first my first time out here who are you talking to <laughs> Who are you talking to? It was giving hate. She's a hater and you mad because I'm out here cute and you got on sweats. But I'm going to do it regardless. If it was my first time or my last, I was going to put it on. I don't care what they doing out there. This is what I'm going to do. But yeah. And the teeth, the smile, everything is looking. So I'm going to get this a 9. At the time, it was a 10 out of 10 in 09. Girl... So this picture, I know for a fact, I was 20 years old. It was my first time in Vegas. I used my coworker's ID because I wasn't, I was so scared. So I'm a Virgo and I'm also like a rule follower. So I don't want to be embarrassed. Mm -mm. So I was so scared, but I didn't want to miss out. I had fear missing out too. So I didn't want to not go to Vegas, but I didn't really want to go with somebody else's ID. But what I'm going to do, I look nothing like the girl, but in Vegas at the time, they wasn't even tripping. They, but I was only uh, 20, but I wasn't like a heavy drinker either because I don't know what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, so this outfit, I just had to show y'all that red hair. Look at this hair. Why is the hair this red? 
but it was also I used to change my hair color a lot well in hair school I used to change my hair color a lot but in this photo I, I'm sure my hair all my hair broke off once I got my new relaxer but I thought I was looking good tiny I had on that uh, shirt that shirt is probably from forever 21 the skirt is probably I don't know where that skirt from just like a little it's probably forever 21 <laughs> or wet seal and then girl I had some old navy wedge flip flops and then I was carrying a fake this is like probably the last time I was like if I can't buy it because once you go to Vegas and you see all the stuff and you expand your mind and like no you can really get money and buy the real deal so I stopped wearing it but I did have like a small speedy bag like the little baby one like you know how like something that you would buy your kid that's the bag I wore look at the earrings earrings are orange to match the ribbon in the shirt <laughs> but I think I'm cute but it's a six um every year the botanical gardens here does a white party I decided I wanted to put the same my shadow on my outfit was cute my shirt is is that guess by Marciano? It's either guess or guess by Marciano. My jeans are guess jeans. That silver clutch I probably got from like Gabriel Brothers or like some second hand like just cheap store DSW or something like that. My earrings were from Guess Marciano because I love the big earring and then my same hair. My shoes were these BCBG Generation. They had like a cage on them, but they were gray. And they, like, they were gray, but the bag was silver. So it wasn't, my shoes weren't metallic, but I was cute still. If I try to, I'm gonna try to find another picture to pop up to show y'all with my feet. Oh, that outfit, I'm gonna give. I mean, it's a white party. Six, five for the eyeshadow. So this next outfit, I'm in Vegas again, it's November 2010. I don't remember why we were in Vegas, but I'm in front of the Venetian by the fountain. Let's start with the outfit. Let's start with the boots. Either throw them away or take them to the cobbler because there's no way that they were letting me walk around with them dusty toes on my boots. And I have to talk to them about that. It's been 14 years, but I need to talk to them about that. But I was cute. Same leather jacket from in France. And then I had on like a long sweater. I think we, I don't know if we were wearing our clothes like this still. Y'all remember when we would get a lace camisole, wear it long, then put another shirt on top of that, wear it like that. I think it was, it was probably dated, a dated look. And then I have on, I don't know where them jeans come from, but they look like when the washes started to come in and the, like the distressing first started to come in. And then the scarf, the scarf look like it's from like Forever 21. But I'm gonna give this an eight. Like this is a look. If the boots were like more polished, I think I'll give it a, a nine. Cause I like, I think it's cute like for the fall. Cause it was freezing. This is in Miami, June of 2012. And y'all remember those banded dresses that we used to get from ASOS? This might be from Boohoo, but I was a Boohoo girl before it got like super popular to me. It wasn't that part, like people didn't know where to shop. And I used to like, or it was like Boohoo. Um, dang, what was that other place called? It used to be like boutique and I used to ain't tell nobody where I got my stuff. <laughs> I was a gatekeeper. Cause no, no, I don't want y'all looking like me. But I thought I was doing a pop of color. That bag is from Aldo. I think the shoes are Aldo and those are red. And with this bandage dress from, I can't remember. But why would you wear that yellow and black puzzle piece dress? But it was just in. And the bracelet on my thing and I don't know what type of weed that is and then it's like okay so I'm gonna do red lip I'm gonna do red clutch red shoes period and we're gonna give this one a five <laughs> all right next we have just a casual day look I have on a headband probably from like forever 21 this is when I started like trying to get virgin hair because the hair that i used to get was in the pack i used to love outre and i used to, no urban beauty number one 
Urban Beauty was pack hair. And then I just, I was introduced to bundles and this is when I, I was watching Fa Fabulosity is Me. And she really taught me how to do them wigs and how to like install and, and do my U parts and stuff. So that's where I learned it from. So if ever you're watching, you to go. Um, but anyway, so I have on a jean jacket, a tank top, Michael Kors watch. I don't know if y'all remember that green bracelet from Kimor, Simmons, and Russell. They, it was like a rough diamond in the inside. I had that bracelet on. My cuff is from BCBG. Pink jeans. And then same flip-flops. Remember I wore them in Vegas? I think those, those, no, these don't look like wedges. But Old Navy flip-flops. I used to love going to Old Navy and getting all the colored flip-flops. But thank God I've evolved. This look is about a seven. It ain't doing too much, but it's like a cute. Oh, I'm running errands. I'm going to the gym. I'm going to the mall. I'm going to the grocery store. Next, I think Instagram was a thing at this point because this skirt is the skirt. It was like a band around the waist, but then it had like two splits. I know everybody had this skirt, and I think it came in white and it came in black. It might have came in blue too. So I have that on with this bodysuit, this striped bodysuit, uh, the crop leather jacket. The jacket had some three quarter length. I did my weave because I'm, I told you that I was into like making my own wigs and stuff and then these big chunky earrings. I want to say those earrings came from like Art and B or um, BB. Michael Kors watched the gold one and then, you know, my cuff from BCBG. And then like, yeah, I, this is my birthday, 2012. So, oh yeah, I was turning 27. Look at me. <laughs> oh, y'all, if y'all all remember this dress, this is that ASOS dress. It came, I bought it in white and I bought it in um, this color teal. And yeah, put the red shoes for a pop of color. <laughs> this is when pops of color came out, I think. And then I have on a leather jacket and look over your shoulder, honey, because that's the, that's the look. The dress is sleeveless. And then I think Tierra Monet was the one that got me hip. So yeah, I've been watching her a long time and I think this is when she, yeah, she got me on this. I was looking stacked. Oh, did I rate that look? So my birthday look, I forgot to rate it, sorry. My birthday look, 10 out of 10 because when I walked, the thighs came out like both one leg, two legs, one leg, two legs, you know? And then the next one, I was at the club. This is what I wore to the club. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna give this a good eight, just for the, for the shape. All right, I wanted this particular BCBG dress so bad. I, don't, I couldn't tell you where it is. If I had this dress, I would wear this dress today. But um, I don't know where I am, but it says June 2013. And I think I um, I have on like a platform shoe because the dress drag It's a knit dress. One shoulder, long sleeve, stripe. Cute. The dress explains it all. And I'm gonna get this one a nine just because I this was one of my favorite dresses. Like, I love BCBG back then. They have, I don't know what they have going on now, but they just, I knew that I was going to be able to find something if I went in that store. And that's why I just, they were, they used to be classic, but yeah. Same jewelry, nothing too crazy, long ass wig. Okay, so next we have this outfit that I wore to Beyonce concert. 10 out of 10. I have on my G-Star jeans, my guest shirt. The earrings are cubes. And I got those from Melanie and Zani. And this, did I say it was July 20, 20, 2013? We were in Detroit to go see Beyonce. I think it was the Carter tour. Gucci bag, it was had like a lame leather on it and they had like gold specks on it. And then those wedges, I couldn't call where I got them from. I don't know who those are from. Nails and feet matching. Blam, I must have been growing my hair out. But yeah, looking cute. Oh, here's and here's a better picture. Okay, so this is September 9th, 2016. This is the Diddy concert. My best friend's birthday. We all flew out to Atlanta to surprise her. And I wore this favorite BCBG boots with the peep toe. 
guest shorts, but these shorts were so short. They really kind of like for beach, going to the beach and wearing them over your swimsuit. Um, red and black lumberjack. No hat to match. MCM hat on with the um, studs on it. And then like a nostalgic MTV shirt because we was going to the concert. I just thought 11 out of 10. 11 out of 10. Then I had my uh, same clutch. I still have that clutch. That BCBG clutch. And I thought I was looking so good. Okay, so in 2016, I opened my own salon. I built it out. It used to be a daycare and I built it into a salon. I had this 3D wallpaper in the back and this was like one of my first photo shoots. So my outfit, I hate the hair, hate the hair. Mm -mm. Hate the hair. But I love the skirt is BCBG. The top is a BCBG turtleneck. I can't remember what shoes I had on, but I don't know. It might just be a pump. But that skirt is a cute skirt, and I don't know where that skirt is at. I can't find the skirt. Like, that skirt would even look good with, like, combat boots. But anyway, or some low first. I don't know. But, um, did I say I hated the hair? <laughs> um, hate the hair once more. And then I had on my Michelle watch, my regular everyday jewelry, and I hate that lipstick. I had a photographer come out, but these aren't my favorite pictures. But yeah. Cute. It's still a 10 out of 10 for the outfit, but I just, I'm feeling in so many ways. Okay, this is another picture in front of me in the salon. And I have my, I started, I stopped wearing all that long hair and I started uh, layering my hair and wearing it shorter. I wasn't ready. I think I was working out too. So I wasn't ready for my short hair again. The top is Zara. That's only, This is my Zara era when I was shopping online for Zara. I, we didn't have a Zara store here yet. The hat is free, the hat is free people and the jeans are free people as well. And then I have on like some wedges from BCBG. And then I put some pink lipstick on to match the pink flowers in the shirt. But it works. And then just my regular jewelry. But... This is one of my, this is a 12 out of 10, because this is one of my favorite outfits. And this was in September of 2017. Okay, this next picture is my birthday, 2019. This is when I was introduced to Misa Los Angeles dresses. And this is a dress, yes, guess what? I rented the, run the runway. So I bought a large, well I got a large and I got a medium, and this one is a large. I didn't get a medium. I got a different dress. And I thought the large was gonna be too big, but it wasn't. So we are in Columbia. I did have on some clear heels at first, but then once we got to taking pictures, my feet was hurt and we was going out, I put on these gold um, flip flops from BCBG. And then regular jewelry, my hair is curled like I wear now. Like when I have my wig, it's the same hair. Red lip, I was so cute, I'm gonna pop up another picture. This was, 15 out of 10 because the dress is so flirty and I, I had just got introduced to it. So yeah So that completes this video and guess what it told me You've been a dresser you've been putting it on and it's your time <laughs> The girls that get to get it the guys that get to get it and if you don't you don't but anyway um comment down below your favorite look. I'm gonna put numbers on each and you can just put the number in the comments. And stay tuned for more from Q and Q Timber. And until the next video, please like, comment, subscribe, share this video with all your friends, and most of all, keep it cute.